Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 11. And it came to pass, after the year was expired, at the time when kings go forth to battle, that David sent eth Yoav, and eth his servants with him, and eth all Yasharael, and they destroyed eth the children of Ammon, and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried still at Yerushalayim. And it came to pass in an evening tide that David arose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman washing herself. And the woman was very beautiful to look upon. And David sent and inquired after the woman. And one said, is not this Bathsheba, the daughter of Elam, rather Eli, rather Eli Am, the woman of Yerahu, the Chitti? And David sent messengers and took her, and she came in unto him, and he lay with her, for she was purified from her uncleanness. And she returned unto her house. And the woman conceived, and sent, and told David, and said, I am with child. And David sent to Yoav, saying, Send me eth Yuri Yahu, the Chitti. And Yoav sent eth Yuri Yahu to El David. And when Yuri Yahu was come unto him, David demanded of him how Yoav did and how the people did, and how the war prospered. And David said to Yuri Yahu, Go down to your house and wash your feet. And Yuri Yahu departed out of the king's house. And there followed him a mess of meat from the king. But Yuri Yahu slept at the door of the king's house with Eth, all the servants of his lord and went not down to his house. And when they had told David, saying, Yuriyahu went not down unto his house, David said unto Yuriyahu, Came you not from your journey? Why then did you not go down unto your house? And Yuriyahu said unto El David, The ark and Yarashara'el and Yahuda abide in tents. And my Lord Yoav and the servants of my Lord are encamped in the open fields. Shall I then go into my house to eat and to drink and to lie with my woman? As you live and as your soul lives, I will not do at this thing. And David said to Yariyahu, Tarry here today also, and tomorrow I will let you depart. So Yuriyahu abode in Yerushalayim that day and the morrow. And when David had called him, he did eat and drink before him, and he made him drunk. And at evening he went out to lie on his bed with the servants of his lord, but went not down to his house. And it came to pass in the morning that David wrote a sefer to Yoav and sent it by the hand of Yuriyahu. And he smote, rather, wrote in the sefer, saying, Set ye eth Yuriyahu in the forefront of the hottest battle, and retire ye from him, that he may be smitten and die. And it came to pass when Yoav observed the city that he assigned Eth Yeriyahu unto a place where he knew that valiant men were. And the men of the city went out and fought with Eth Yoav. And there fell some of the people of the servants of David. And Yeriyahu the Chiti died also. Then Yoav sent and told David Eth all the things concerning the war. 
and charged Eth the messengers, saying, When you have made an end of telling Eth the matters of the war unto the king, and if so be that the king's wrath arise, and he say unto you, Wherefore approached ye so nigh unto the city when ye did fight? Knew ye not, Eth, that they would shoot from the wall? Who smote Eth Avimelech, the son of Yerbarasheth? Did not a woman cast a piece of a millstone upon him from the wall, that he died in Tevetz? Why went ye nigh the wall? Then say you, Your servant Yuriyahu the Chiti is dead also. So the messenger went and came and showed David eth all that Yoav had sent for him, rather had sent him for. And the messenger said unto El David, Surely the men prevailed against us and came out unto us in the field, and we were upon them even unto the entering of the gate. And the shooters shot from off the wall upon your servants. And some of the king's servants be dead. And your servant, Yuriyahu, the Cheti, is dead also. Then David said unto the messenger, Thus shall you say unto Yoav, Let not at this thing displease you, for the sword devours one as well as another. Make your battle more strong against the city and overthrow it, and encourage him. And when the woman of Yariyahu heard that Yariyahu, her man, was dead, she mourned for her man. And when the morning was past, David sent and fetched her to his house, and she became his woman, and bore him a son. But the thing that David had done displeased Yahuwah, 